YouTube. We here. Let's go. Yo, yo, Cuzzo Nation, we are back with another vid. Come on and say it with me. Fo yo wig. That's right. As you already seen in the video, we are about to review the Air Jordan 8. Now, this is my first time having an 8 period. And then one of the OG colorway. I got it from the shock drop. It already landed. And I'm excited, but then kind of uh a lot of people are kind of 50 50 about it i don't know is it because eights don't get retroed a lot or people just not feeling the eights to me i'm an og old school jordan head so to to really get all of the originals in my collection is something that i really kind of want to do well let me say it like this the originals that i want because again with the shoe journey as i told y'all kind of recent i'm buying what i like not just because it's hype around it or because it's a big resale value behind it i want it because it's going on foot i'm not just gonna have it to wear and serve that's what you do that's fine even though i do have quite a few pairs in that closet right there that um still are ds from from years years ago but i'm waiting for the right outfit i know you say you make clothes mind your business man that, that person right there your business they go get one so uh we're gonna get straight to the video and we're gonna check them out man i'm excited to see how they look in hand and then i'm going to do a youtube short on tomorrow with some on feet maybe uh with an outfit like this or kind of a combination that will go and see what will go with it so let's go and check it out uh, I think I'm in my pocket already let's see what he's talking about all right, all right. So, with that being said, as you waiting for me to cut open this box, you can uh, like and subscribe. You see, we're trying to get to at least 350. I want to get to that 500 uh, just to continue to grow the channel. But man, whatever y'all do, I appreciate y'all just hitting the like button. I appreciate you just stopping by, uh, hollering and chilling with your boy. But while you're doing that, did y'all pick this up? Do you want it? Are you kind of like, uh? it's all right let me know right now while i'm getting it out of the box you got a few seconds to type it in like i'm digging it i'm thinking i might get it or not i passed on a shock drop or i missed on a shock drop that might be a whole different story but let me know how y'all are feeling about it and then we will go from there all right all right uh, y'all know how we do get them at it there all right uh box here stand oh my bag at that 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 was really really loud i don't know if it was or wasn't uh standard jordan box here nike air there again this is my shock drop pair size 11. now another thing i was kind of iffy about by I me mean, not never having any eights i don't know um really how do eights fit you know so i don't know if i should have went a size up i don't know if they're big i know they got the straps then another thing i'm concerned about you, say, you got all these concerns you still got them. yeah because it's an og and i never had it. if i don't like it then maybe i'll give it away sell it or whatever but um the bulkiness i don't know how that's gonna look on foot but i'm gonna try it out put it with the outfit and see how it looks so i got my size size 11 i hope they're true to size if not i will find out sooner than later all right, box three, Air Jordan 8 Retro, black, true red, and white. So, oh, what's sticking? About to do my little page flip. Y'all see that? Oh, the black paper is caught up. I don't know if it'll come up, but the black paper is caught up inside of this. This is a first. Oh, it got caught up in the, in the glue inside of that part right there so that was crazy first time but do we always do get them out of there all right oh as soon as i look at it like the blue pops out on this thing right here this is the first thing i saw when i looked down right here 
this uh blue it is really really uh bright but and in hand they look kind of huge i ain't gonna lie in hand they look really really uh huge like man I, I should i went down a whole size but don't know how it's gonna fit on foot but so far it's, it's all right you know i'm gonna keep it a hundred which i ain't just trying to sell it they ain't paying me to endorse them not as of yet but uh kind of a little ashy there what else anything else any any uh extras no car just just the black paper that's how they do your boy that's how they do your boy get them out of there all right so let's see what they talking about let's let, let's see what they talking about let's see how they look all right first off it looks like we got this all new book and some parts of the new book looks kind of ashy and looks like is it is this i'm trying to see inside of here i don't know if that's like a pebble leather or a pebble new buck because it's all looking kind of ashy if i'm being honest i don't know let me see that coming across on camera really good but it looks ashy but again i'm still excited i got it in the collection i ain't gonna even lie about that that i do have it and one of the things i was concerned about about you know the top down view is would it look bulky and honestly it really doesn't it looks slim but then too uh it's all tied up within the straps whatever you know i don't know i remember seeing people back in the day who did have it on with the bug with the bugs bunny joints and, and how they did in the hood like they ain't had a strap they had the straps kind of loose and the shoestrings loose but I'll see how I'm a uh, rocker when I hook up the outfits tomorrow. But man, this is it's decent. I'll say it's decent. If I had to give it a rating out of ten, I would give it seven. Sevens may stay in the collection, but it's between a seven and a six and a half. I ain't gonna lie. But then sometimes when you put it on foot, it might be a whole different beast. But as of right now, they're decent. I'm not necessarily mad about the purchase. And then I want to see how it fits on with, you know, like this inner sock glove that's inside of it. I want to see if that's a nice, like a snug fit. You know, I just want to see how are they. I want even how they are to hooping. So this looks like... Uh plastic tape or something like that i don't know what that is but i guess it's cool for the most part um as of cleanliness and like uh factory flaws or anything with my pair i don't see anything with this one let's check out the other one and see how that pair looks this one got uh some ash right up front you can see that but yeah bring it out a little bit and over there but that's when you get in this new book now i would have liked to have seen this and i don't know if they ever have come out like that again because i'm not really a big uh eight buyer but i wonder if they would have came out with these with how they're doing to reimagine uh the bread fours for next year with leather now that might be dope you know it would probably take away from the ashiness that's on here but uh man oh it looks like i never i didn't even peep this part right here let me see can i get it on uh on camera is it got like a little like glitter here in the midsole so i don't know if that was on the original or not but from my understanding they're trying to make these as close to the original as possible but it's kind of a nice little touch you know oh you know i love details it's all about details y'all y'all see how that's coming together right there y'all see that y'all peek that cuz oh and jordan come on jordan brand come on reach out to your boy let's, let's let's do a collab oh also in the next recent uh the next few days many y'all if you haven't read my whole story of how cuz came to be about how i end up kind of switching and doing a pivot 
uh, with just starting my own clothing brand, I kind of recently kind of been dabbing back into just drawing shoes and things of that nature. I might put up a, a, a little thumbnail or something there. I have, I've gotten back into, kind of got the itch. So in the next few days on my IG, make sure you follow my IG. Make sure you subscribe here. Let's get the numbers up. Um, some of my old drawings that I used to do, I kind of did them better from when I had an interview with Nike. Uh, I might even tag uh, AC, who's a Nike senior designer, that actually gave me my shot to come out to Nike. So I've been kind of just reimagining some shoes like for Devin Booker, uh, KD, James Harden, myself, if Cuzzo had a shoe. And I, I might uh, start putting those out on my IG uh, one a day or whatever, just to see what y'all like, what y'all think about them. I just kind of got back into it with designing and just kind of really got that uh, that bug or that itch back. But man, y'all, overall, these are decent. I'm not sure what day they are uh, coming back. Oh, nice 23 there, a little stitch in there embroidered but um man if you like it go for it if not on to the next one i think i already know which ones i want to pick up for the rest of the year y'all let me know but know in the comments which ones are you all going to pick up for the rest of the year i only got two and i'm trying to see are those going to be double up uh and that's the cherries cherry uh and the cherry 12s and the what they call them the gratitudes the 11s I think I definitely want to double up on those because that's just it's just fresh to me. Those 11s are just fresh. Again, y'all know me. My 11s and my threes are some of my favorite uh, ones. But I'm gonna try these on and do a fit with them and see how they fit if they're tight. Let's see one thing before we go. I wanted that they put. Let's see if you open it up. So you open it up from the strap, and then what? Oh, it's a strap on both sides. Looks like they got some this ain't this can't be real leather the way it feels it's like it's cheap on the inside the leather inside of the straps i was trying to see that they put like a shoehorn or anything inside of nope pay 200 some dollars and you get that you got 200 of my dollars and this is this is what you give me and i have to pay all this extra stuff from extra companies with different kind of shoe horns to keep the integrity I, i'm just gonna leave that right there but man y'all uh hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe because old nation as always i love y'all and as i always say today could be day one of you living your dreams your vision your purpose the thing that you were put on this big green planet to do to be a blessing to someone else or it could be one day you could push it off that choice is yours my hope and my prayer is that you begin to do it that you continue to walk in it love y'all Cuzzo Nation, I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much love, Cuzzo Nation. Peace. You got an event coming up. Man, you need a fit. It was just the right touch. You need something that's bold. Something pure gold. You need something that's cold. What you need is a... Ultimate expression of swagger.